No, it's his hands, as you say. It's his speed around the court, but most of all, it's his hands. He first started his career, people were talking about him as a Grand Slam winner. It's so often in these times, and especially going up against, you know, the players of this generation, of this era, you do need that big shot, big shots. Yeah, he got unlucky. The net wasn't his friend in that game. <laughs> Cheeky. Thinking that what he's doing here. Okay, might as well come in behind it. At his mercy and then. Oh, wonderful shot. Comprehensive end to the opening set and it really was all TFO once he got that break in the fifth game. And he takes it in exactly half an hour. Oh, magical. Thought he missed his chance early on, but <laughs> was outstanding. This second set has been a treat. Oh, what a shame to finish like that because it had been such a, an entertaining second set. But it's TFO who goes through. Oh, well, that's an entertaining point to start. Well, that was some set. Plenty of drama in these windy conditions in Delray Beach. And it is the qualifier from Ecuador, Roberto Quiroz, who takes the opening set, had the lead, had the rail at the end, and did so. Seven games to six. Oh, that's a stunning drive from Ruben. It wasn't a bad forehand whatsoever, but the preparation was early from Ruben and it was spot on. But the percentage gets better and so does the score line now for the qualifier. Court coverage was spot on, and what about that for a finish? It is a second ATP win in his career for Roberto Quiroz, and the first one in three years since Quito in 2018. Boy, Aragoni got the court covered there. Really made Norrie work. Nothing special for Norrie, but uh, ruthlessly efficient. Oh, yeah. 
upright in the corner. He couldn't have placed it any better. Look at the take back on the forehand. Yeah. And that's all she wrote. An hour and six minutes is all it took. Norrie started well and kept his foot firmly on the accelerator. And especially at his age. Oh, it's a circus shot. <laughs> I felt there was a miss hit, just the sound that came off his racket. Oh, he got lucky there. He was off balance, and that helped him drop it short. But that break in the eighth game does prove decisive. And Kalovic, in the end, takes the set on his third set point. Well, he paid the price. He was indecisive there. Hmm. Can't remember the uh, half smash there, Karlovic. I thought that was a good shot by Karlovic. <laughs> oh, how about that? Did he need to play the overhead? Did Karlovic need to play this? Oh, Simon, I think you're right. Where he took that ball, I could see where the racket was to his right. I think it was going wide. Yeah, it wasn't a clean hit, really, on return, but it did enough. And there is the second set for Pablo Andaha. Well played. A devastating return game there for Ivo Karlovic. And he storms into the lead here. And there it is. He's had to wait a year for an ATP Tour win. And he's really had to work for the two and a quarter hours he took to win this. But Ivo Karlovic is through to the second round here. The champion, six years ago, still in this one.